Hello, how is everybody doing? Today, I was asked to give a review of the recently released version of the AEC workspace. And since I've done a, quite a bit of work with it in the past, uh, they asked me to kind of review it and I told them I would if I was able to do it on my home computer on my own time so that I could go through it and really give some examples of how it's used. So the first thing that we would need to do is go get it. So I'm going to open up Chrome and I'm going to go and look for, uh, let's just do a Google search for CAD BIM Center. Ah, CAD BIM Center USACE, that's a good one. And if we go click on this CAD BIM Center, CAD BIM Center .mil, that will take us to the uh, CAD BIM Center's website. When I get in here, I see that there's BIM and SIM area, and underneath there is the AEC work structure, and underneath here is download the Bentley AEC Workspace version 3.1 update uh, updated 2.1 so February 1st 2021 so that's the latest thing so we need to get a copy of that and then we also need instructions for installing the Bentley Connect Workspace in a local configuration now that only gets me so far so Okay, we'll start with this local configuration and then we'll go through and do it on a network. That way we can show a couple different ways and if I get time at work I'll show how to do it on project wise. But for now let's go get a copy of this thing. So I'm just going to click on it and it's going to ask me to log in. So I'm going to sign in and this is going to download the workspace onto my computer. It's a zip file. Then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to click on this instructions and kind of see what it has to say. Uh, if exists, delete the AEC workspace folder located in C program data AEC WS. Uh, note, deleting this folder will remove local configurations that were added to prior to the prior workspace. So there was a phase one and a phase two of this workspace. So if you already have it on your computer, this will they want you to get rid of what you previously had and install the newest stuff. So if you have any files that you've changed, you better back them up beforehand. Uh, otherwise, you're going to run into you're going to lose your information because this thing, they want you to wipe it out. So, uh, then they simply just want you to unzip it to see. Okay, that seems pretty simple. Uh, so, if you unzip it to see and if you want to replace anything, they want you to make sure that you say yes to overwriting any other files. So while this is downloading, I'm going to hit pause on the video and wait for it to finish. Okay, after about 12 minutes, uh, it finally downloaded. So I'm going to show this in the folder so I can get to it. And here it is. So it's in my downloads folder. <clears throat> If we go back to the instructions, it said unzip it to see. So if we're going to unzip it to see, wait, you should probably verify some of the other settings in here. So I'm going to open up File Explorer and I'm going to go to the C drive, open up Program Data. Wait, I don't see that. So I should probably come over to View and show hidden hidden items so that I can see the program data folder. In the program data folder I do not have an AEC WS folder in there but I do have a Bentley with a MicroStation Connect Edition. I also have Open Roads Designer Connect Edition 
I have also Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition and Pro Structures Connect Edition. So it's probably going to write stuff into those locations too. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to shrink this down to make it a little easier. And I'm going to use 7-Zip to make my life a little bit easier. There it is. I'm going to extract it. And I'm going to extract it to the C drive. And I'm going to hit OK. This won't take too long to unzip, hopefully. And it said to pick yes. I'm going to pick yes to all because there's more than one place it's going to write to. Okay, so now that it's extracted, I'm going to close out of that. I'm done with the zip file. Let's take a look here. If I go to program data, I should have an AECWS folder in here someplace. Where did it go? I'm going to hit F5 on my keyboard. And what happened? There it is. Now it's showing up. So I guess I just had to refresh it and F5 didn't uh, help any. But it's extracted at my ECWS folder. Let's take a look and see how big this thing is. It is 475 megabyte and 2,829 files and 2,032 folders. Woo, it's big. All right, well, let's see if we got it and it's working now. So if I start MicroStation, to tell if it's working, I should see AEC workspaces and work sets. So if I come over here to the workspace, AEC English workspace, and I see the AEC English work sets testing English. Why is there a testing folder in here? You would think they would have cleaned up and sent out a clean folder structure. Hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure the testing folder shouldn't be in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to show all properties and I'm going to click on this AEC testing to open up that location. Then I'm going to come back to workspace and this testing stuff really shouldn't be in here. So I'm going to just delete everything that has testing in it and close that. Then I'm going to check the metric workspace, see if they did the same thing. Ah, they did the same thing here too. So uh, show all properties, AEC testing, go to the one higher, and I'm going to get rid of the testing stuff. They shouldn't have delivered that. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that too. Because there's no reason for that stuff to be there. Let's go back to AEC English. Alright, I'm still seeing stuff because it read that in the configuration. So I'm going to restart the software. And run a new test. Okay, so AEC English. Now I have just the two. There's a local English and a template English. The template English is where you go to create new work sets. The local English is the uh, the folder for if you just want a very simple folder structure. Uh, bare bones basic stuff. Just the minimum items are in there. So if I'm going to create a new one I need to create a use the AEC template. Uh, and this is the English side is actually US customary units. So when you see English uh, or Imperial that means US customary units. If you see metric workspace that means metric units. So now we have those two things. Now I would like to create a new work set. Oh. Uh, the button is disabled. Okay, uh, I've done some research on this. The way to create a new work set is to come into configuration, configuration sets. So I'm here in this program data area. 
C program data, configuration sets, AEC, AEC English, and if I come into AEC English and look at this config set standard settings, if I want to create a new one, I have to enable this configuration op. So for some reason they have this set to disallow creating work sets. Well, I want to be able to create a work set, so I'm going to turn that on by putting a uh, hashtag in front of the configuration ops. What that says is comment this line out so it's not being read. I'm going to save this. While I'm at it, I'm going to bet in the same thing as in metric. So I'm going to come into metric and do the same thing here. Configuration ops, and I'm going to comment that out. So with that, uh, with that hashtag there, and hit save. Now, if I restart the software, should be able to create a new work set. So here I am starting MicroStation again. Go to the English workspace. Ah, now I have the ability to create a new work set right there. So I'm going to hit create a work set. And I'm going to use my AEC template English to create my new work set, and I'm going to give it a name. Uh, and this is going to be my new work set. And demonstrations. And I'm going to not hit create folders only. The only reason I would do this is if I didn't want any of the resource files that are in the template English work set uh, to be copied to my new work set. But uh, for the most, that would only be used if I just wanted the DGNWS file and the config file to be copied into project wise for the processes of working in there. But for the most part, what I want to do is to get everything that's in there and then see what uh, what we get. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to start my new work set. And I'm going to say new file. This thing should be coming in and setting the seed to AEC design seed horizontal 3D survey feet. So this thing is defaulting to uh, to horizontal, which means civil type work, uh, civil design. If it says vertical, that's more architectural design. So if you want to see feet and inches, you use vertical. If you want to see feet and decimal feet, it's horizontal. And I'm just going to create a new file in here. Later I'll show you how to create one with the proper naming convention. But for now I'm just doing a little bit of testing to see what's going on. And let's take a look and see. So, the, one of the key things to know is if the workspace is working, is that you have this AEC menu up here. Looks like I have some customization stuff going on, so let me clean that up, and I'll come back next time and show you how to do a little bit of customization.